contributing editor to Workers' World newspaper, and we covered from the very beginning the criminal U.S.-NATO war that led to the breakup of Yugoslavia, the bombing of Serbia. This is a crime. I was in uh, Serbia during the war, during the bombing, with Ramsey Clark, who was U.S. attorney, former U.S. attorney general, who was outspoken against this U.S. crime. We organized an international war crimes tribunal to really condemn and charge uh, President Clinton and his whole cabinet with war crimes. What I saw uh, in Serbia during the bombing, the NATO-U.S. bombing, was the, the destruction of hospitals, of schools, one right after the other, of bridges, of um, chemical and oil refineries, of everything that civilians need. That is what was targeted. And that is the kind of crime that continues today uh, when the U.S. supplies the weapons to Israel to destroy uh, Gaza, to make war on the Palestinians. And that is where my heart is right now. But uh, the war against Serbia was a great crime. Uh, at the same time, this is a new period. That war was fought to expand NATO throughout Eastern Europe, right to the borders of Russia. It was really a war to bomb Serbia, but aimed at Russia, and yet they have failed, and NATO has failed. And that's important to say, that we see the limits now of U.S. power, that new alliances are emerging, new relations are emerging in the world. And for everyone in Serbia who held on all these years with confidence in the future, there is a new future coming. I believe this, and I believe that the limits of U.S. power, so destructive, we are seeing today.